Hey guys, it's me, Zach Hammetry with Legendary Fishing. Yeah, you know, today I got to thinking to myself, <clears throat> all these videos today with uh, challenges, you know, like the uh, Mystery Tackle Box Challenge or the Guggen Baits Challenge, stuff like that. I got to think about, you know, what if there was something a little bit more realistic? How about the $5 challenge? So I went to Walmart and picked out a few baits for $5 or less. And I'm here at a little creek. We're going to do some fishing today using baits that are only $5 or less. Sounds pretty cool, huh? So, you know, if you're struggling with fishing or just getting into fishing, don't really know what to use, you ain't got to spend a whole bunch of money. Just go to Walmart, or, you know, typically Walmart, and like I said, five bucks or less. You can go, come out here and catch some fish. I'm going to show you how to do it, man. All right, guys, as I was saying, we're using $5 or less baits. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is this little bitty little jig right here. But I did pick up some other things such as this little crankbait here. That'll be pretty good. And Rebel makes little micro baits now such as this little micro pop it'd be pretty good for these for creek bass and then also these grubs these little curly tail grubs they're white curly tails yeah, a little curly tail grub put that on a jig head and uh this kind of stuff's good for creeks um you know, just because it's a small body of water doesn't mean there's not fish in it. Um, I can't tell you how many times that I've actually fished creeks or, or over up uh, um, creeks that are under overpasses in cities and stuff, such as Houston, um, that actually had plenty of fish. They even had some decent sized bass. So, you know, there's this little creek down by my house with plenty of little fish in it. So, I'm gonna see if I can get any. I already had a bite. And there we go. Just that quick. And this is a little green sunfish. A little bitty, little green sunfish. I'm gonna put that in the bucket. I might go and put him in the, him in an, in an aquarium. And there's another one. The same thing, green sunfish. A little bit bigger one. Let that one go. So it's that easy. A little five dollar or less lures. Oh, <laughs> having some uh. Some long ear sunfish attack it also. Brightly colored little uh, long ear sunfish. Ah, but they're not getting the hook, they're just grabbing the little tail. And they're bigger than the green sunfish I've caught. There's a whole bunch of little baby fish. Come on, eat it. Oh, I got that one. There we go. Beautiful long ear sunfish. I'm here in central Texas. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Take a picture of that one. Barely hooked him in the nose. Though. Don't want to see that. Uh, 
and back he goes. All right, let's see. There's a couple more sitting here. Let's see if we can get a few more of these. Basically, all I'm doing is bouncing it off the bottom, just twitching it. Let's see, might go off a little bit further down the creek. First, I'm gonna throw back off in that cupboard and see if anything's home. Oh, oh, I had one. And we got something. <laughs> A little young, long ear, juvenile. He sucked that son of a gun in. Uh, nothing came after that time. All right, I'm gonna change it up, see if we can get something on maybe that poplar. So, now we're gonna try the micro poplar. See if we can get anything on it. Um, possibly, hopefully, a little creek bass. I already had a bite. <laughs> A little long ear chasing. Just need to get it further in there. See what'll happen. This evening it wasn't earlier but uh storm system moving in tomorrow uh, so i'd try and make sure i got this done today which i believe so far has been a success if i can just get some slightly larger fish varieties possibly largemouth bass on a little ultralight, be pretty cool. Or either some larger <clears throat> sunfish species.
Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> it was something a little bit bigger hit it. Let's see. <laughs> they're hitting it so hard they're knocking it out of the water but this long ears and they're not quite big enough to get that back hook in their mouth that's pretty funny let's see All right, I'm gonna move down a little bit further. See if I can get in some slacker water and find a find a bass before it gets too late in the evening. Let's see. Go a little bit further down. Oh, like a little bass. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if y'all can see all of them. But there are a ton of fish interested in this. They're all little. If I could get a nice green sunfish, he'd be able to eat it. <laughs> They're knocking the crap out of it though. But they can't get the vet cook in their mouth. Hmm. Move on down. I said I don't want to waste time playing with them when I'm already on a limited amount of daylight time. <laughs> they're knocking the crap out of it though and it's hilarious because they're not big enough to eat it so they're hitting it just with all their might knocking it all the way out the water let's see if I can bring them up here where you can see them because they're still attacking it oh wait I got one oh son of a gun well, that's the downside of having barbless hooks, I guess. Because there's a green sun, a nice size green sunfish compared to most of these other fish. All right, <laughs> that was funny though. He just flopped right off.
All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's several sitting right here. And I, I think one of them is actually a decent sized green sunfish. Hmm. Oh well. So. <clears throat> But I am going to put on one of the other baits that I showed. Not, not the jig this time. I already know I can catch fish off the jig. I want to see if I can get something off the little crankbait. The little little crankbait little single hook on the back kind of shaped like a tadpole honestly there used to be some <clears throat> baits years ago i think they done stopped making them that were shaped and colored exactly like a tadpole the same basic concept as a little bit of crankbait with a single hook on the back and i used to love fishing with those and then, like I said, they stopped making them, so, oh, I wasn't, wasn't fishing with those anymore. And then, here recently, oh, I guess recently, last couple years, they brought them back just with a different company. And a number of, oh, oh, number of colors, this being one of them, obviously. Oh, there's one. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful little long ear sunfish. Love those red eyes. Back he goes. He kind of hopped out of my hand. I was going to kind of ease him into the water, but he decided to go the fast way. Uh, to each his own, I suppose. Oh, getting hits. Let's see. How's it setting that current to swim by itself? Some wire over here I don't want to get into. Let's see. Oh, oh, had a hit. Missed him. It's hard to understand how I'm going to miss these fish when <clears throat> the hook is actually on the back of the bait. I mean, like, for real, though. <laughs> you just came up and hit it from the, from the back, I'm sure. Now, how am I going to miss this thing? There's one. Oh, snatched him right out the water. I'm a little bit smaller. Nice little long ear, though. Like I said, I'm not catching anything big. I'm not planning on keeping any of these, really. Um, so it's just passing the time. If you love fishing, you know what that's like. If you're just getting into fishing, you'll soon find out. <laughs> So, 
I caught fish on the first little bitty white jig. I caught two on this little crankbait. Let's try the little bit larger jig and jig head combination. The little curly tail grub that I had showed. Now this one, this jig, I'm targeting slightly larger fish because as you can see, you have more plastic before you get to the hook. So <clears throat> these smaller fish, they're not gonna be able to get the hook, which I'll probably end up pulling my hair out because I get aggravated that I'm missing so many fish, but uh, just in case I am also bringing the little jig that I started with. And as you can probably tell, it's starting to get dark on me. Might be done for the day. Oh, I got one. Green sunfish. I knew that if I was going to get one on a on this one, it'd be a green sunfish. There he is, and there he goes. Let's see what else. If I can get another one. Oh, there's a little bass. I can see a little bass in there. I don't think he's too interested in the scrub there. Darn it. I was hoping to get a bass for you guys. Oh, man, he just took off like a scary little kitty cat. Oh. oh oh he came off all right screw that I don't like that game And changing. All right, let's see here. Oh, see some interest. Let's see. Can I get him? Oh, I got him. Oh, a hybrid. Green sunfish, long ear sunfish hybrid. Very nice. And he ate it. <laughs> right. Oh, and back he goes. Had a black fish coming after it. I'm, think, I'm thinking it may have been just a full blood green sunfish, just really dark. Oh, crap. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, it's a little bass. Look at that. It's a little bitty baby bass. That's awesome. <laughs> There's your creek bass I've been trying to get. He came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him.
All right, let's see what's on the other side of that rock. I had something come after it. I just, you just didn't grab it. Oop, what do we got? A little greeny. A little green sunfish. There's more of these guys in here than I thought there was. I thought it was mostly uh, long ears, which there are a lot of those. But I guess right now these greens are more aggressive, which is amazing because long ear sunfish are extremely aggressive by nature to start with. And the greenies are also extremely aggressive. They're just fun to catch. Oh, there's a nice, a little bit bigger bass. Uh, he don't care anything about it. He didn't want anything I've got to offer him. Shoot. I was hoping to get something a little bit bigger. At least I did get one bass. It may not have been the big one or anything like that but it was nice still fun on this little ultralight especially the way you hit oh ooh. got the bass looking at it come on bass hit it Bass came after it, but at the last second, gave up on it. He's really not interested in this anymore. I set it down in front of him and backed away from it. But yet he chased it from, came running after it from about 10 foot away. I guess he figured out that it wasn't real. Oh, I got a nice greenie. Check that guy out. That's a green sunfish right there. Jeez. Very nice. For this little creek, anyway. <clears throat> Let's see here. I seen I seen him coming after it, and he kept looking at it, kept looking at it. And it's definitely a male, as dark as he is. No pudge. One that size at this time of year. He feels a female. Oh crap! He definitely have a pudge. I guess this is about as far as I'm gonna go. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I didn't miss him. Another green sunfish, really dark one, very pretty. And back he goes. Oh, I got a little fishy. Hold on, this is crazy. You gotta be cra you gotta be kidding me. 
I just got had a diamondback water snake come and grab my fish while I was reeling it in. That is awesome. And if you guys know me, you know I love snakes. So this is just fine with me. Oh, oh wait, there he is. Come back. Where do you? I think, oh, there he is. Come out to the side yet? Oh, there he went. <laughs> oh, well, I'll let him get going. Y'all seen enough of it. <laughs> I've literally never had that happen to me personally. Now, I've heard of it happening. I've seen pictures from it happening. No, it's not a green sunfish, a little, uh, juvenile long gear but i've seen it happen to other people i've never had it happen to me and that's crazy i was really neat man and he came shooting out from the grass line a little young diamondback water snake oh. <laughs> i seen one earlier i wonder if that was the same one Look right here, look right here in front of me. <laughs> that was cool. Hot, see, that's an aggressive green sunfish. That was so cool. I hope you could see that fish come up and grab that bait. This water's crystal clear, but I also know it's kind of late in the evening, possibly poor lighting. But that was a good hit. He had, he had hit it already, and that's when I had set the hook and I missed him, obviously. And he kept chasing it all the way up to the bank. So I put it back in the water. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this on a positive note before I end up, I don't know, losing my bait or something i don't know anything can happen oop backtrack a little bit so if you ask me i'd consider today a success because <clears throat> my challenge was to catch fish on lures under five dollars so that's what i did i went to that creek um didn't get anything big obviously but i got numbers caught some pretty cool fish had that snake that was pretty awesome all under all with lures five dollars or under so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to go and catch fish it's just a fun time so if you enjoyed it please subscribe and follow um, i'm zach hammontree this has been legendary fishing see ya